Hi, Rodrigo. I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to speak to you today. Thanks for taking the time. So I guess uh, by way of introduction, I mean, to call this a heist movie seems like a massive oversimplification, um, but I don't know how you quite describe it. What's your kind of eleva elevator pitch to audiences? What can they expect when they watch your film? A free film. They they they, they are going to see a free film that uh, grabs you because... Of course, it's it has uh, strong elements from the haste uh, genre, from haste movies and film noir. But at the same time, the the story is uh, not only about thieves and money, um, but what's behind of those decisions they take. So um, that's why the need of being free makes a free film in, in the end. And I was reading that it kind of shares a, a jumping off point um, with this 1949 film, Hardly a Criminal. Um, so I wonder if you can just talk a bit about, you know, where you started the idea from and how your film, I guess, might be taking influence from or almost be in dialogue with that sort of classic era of Argentine cinema. The, the link with that film from the 40, from, from the 40s, uh, it's only that I, I took the... The premise of that film which was about a man who st uh, steals money from his work and hides it with the plan, and doing the the prison and going to prison. And finally, in that film, everything fails. And it's a strict film noir from the 40s, uh, strict strict in terms of uh, of not only of uh, storytelling but in, in terms of of image. Uh, in this case, I. I decided to take that premise in order to have some kind of dialogue with that, with that, um, uh, with that film, with with that era from Argentine uh, Argentine uh, cinema. But but I I didn't want to to talk about that. I, I mean, it was just uh, to take this. Uh, you can you can also um, understand as I stole. Uh, that idea to make a, a story about uh, someone who steals money. I um, booked that idea from 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 that film, in order to appropriate it and and make it and deform it and make it something totally different. It's not only about to updating, but to deforming it and make it uh, something completely different. But what I I was uh, aware was the. The fact of making a film without the the weight, yes, the weight, the mandate also of uh, being realistic. So the fact of beginning from a from a film, from a pre-existent film, um, made me to think about the film language and and to evoke not only in the storytelling but in in, in the tone or in the music also the score to relate the film my film to other films from uh, maybe from the 50s or 60s, um, modern films uh, that, that took the same genres and uh, made them uh, different from, from the classic time. Uh, that's, that's, that's the relationship I have with that film and with the cinema in general. Mm. And what I kind of love about it is when you take a step back, it's kind of inverting the sort of stereotypical trappings of a heist film because actually, you know, our protagonists, they're kind of these sort of everyday, quite sort of seemingly bland people working in the bank. Even the heist itself is kind of done in this very low key way. Um, and then in a, as the film goes on, actually what they think that they want most, the money, kind of becomes irrelevant. And you quickly realize that what they're after is this sense of freedom and playfulness out of sort of the confines of, you know, the drudgery of their work. So I wonder what you wanted to say about that. And something, you know, I guess with late capitalism, you know, that that dream of, of, of being millionaires is actually not what we all crave anymore. There, there are many layers, of course, in 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 the answer I, I can give you, uh, because one of them is has to do with the with the content and the form. I mean, if I'm speaking or uh, or or I'm telling a story about freedom, it pushes me to 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 a free form. Or we can invert the 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 equation, and I say, okay, I wanted to make a free a, a, 
a free film and I invented this story about freedom. If not, I mean, if the film would have been a, a, um, a, a film about freedom, but in a, in a squared and strict structure, there would have been a very uh, co contradictory to 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 the to the aim of 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 the mise en scène or of the conception of of a film conception. That's about the form. That that's why the film is a journey that crosses many uh, stops and steps, uh, uh, genres, characters, sceneries. Um, I, I wanted to make a long film to that allowed me to, you know, to 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 meet different people, different faces, different ways of uh, of speaking, different landscapes. Uh, the city, the, the the center of the city of Buenos Aires, and and the landscapes of the hills in the province of Cordoba, in the middle of the country. So I wanted to take this long journey regarding the the genres, the different genres the film has. Uh, it's it's because uh, it's because the the that free form I, I i told you before um and i was also gonna ask you know about your wonderful cast and i guess when you're trying to land this very particular kind of deadpan humor and the surreal surreality of the of the film you really needed your cast to be on board and i know there's kind of a quite a scene in argentina people have come kind of from the theater world people you've worked with before so how important was it to have those people on board to achieve your vision well it has to do with with um with that idea of giving to the secondary characters their time, because finally it has to do with the functionality. And I mean, the film confront the productive time versus the unproductive time. That's why uh, Moran discovers um, uh, Norma and her world um, full of free and nonsense time and making documentaries that nobody understands what kind of film is or he can read poetry uh, during four years in a row and in terms of 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 mise-en-scene or film form uh, it's the same i mean I don't care about the, that kind of productivity in in storytelling. I I, I think that the film has to be, no matter the subject has, has to be free in terms of of, of taking all the detours the story deserves. Meet every character I wanted to meet. So I I, I want to. Um, to take those uh, paths in terms of uh, of storytelling, that's that allows me to uh, tell more than the hero's uh, road. I mean, the journey. I mean, it 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 allows me to uh, you, you know to discover other people, other characters, other sense of humans. On the other hand, I. Every time I write, I think on actors, and those uh, the bank staff, for example, are actors that I really admire. They 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 work in in, in, in off, you know, in theater, uh, independent theater plays in Buenos Aires it was a big scene theater scene. I, I I write those characters thinking on them and and. And, and that's I, I was very accurate in in choosing them and and it was a, you know a, a happy experience to work together and it, we had a lot of fun making believe me making making this uh, these scenes they they wanted during the shooting they wanted to hey let's let's make a, a series a TV series about this bank staff. You know, that's the relationship I have with them and with the with with the humor and 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 the absurdness and all of things, uh, all of those things, and that makes this uh, um, film the 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 film is in the end. And Elspeth, what do you hope people take away from watching it? Because I guess it is going 
taking people on a bit of a of a, a ride. Um, but perhaps it is that reminder to, you know, find those moments to be playful, to be free, um, perhaps not to be so serious about things. All of all of that. Um, the experience of uh, yes, of the experience of of watching a film from the south, from Argentina, who talks about uh, a universal uh, subject like the relationship we have with our work and with the using of time. Yeah, and that and and a film that makes existential questions without being pretentious, without being, you know, serious to talk about uh, existential things. Um, so that's why the film uses the genre. That's why the film has a strong a sense of humor. And, and that's it. I mean, that's what I want they take away from, from the film. And just very quickly, do you know what I'm going to be working on next? So is it a film called Lullaby? Is that, is that right? It's not so different in terms of maybe the world I'm, I, I, I dream for that film. It's not so different from uh, The Delinquents, but uh, it's, a, it's a small film at the same time. And so it's different in, in, in terms of maybe of length. Uh, it's, a, it's a very small film about a, a guy who spends uh, one day having uh, more than six or seven lunches in, in different non-relevant bars from Buenos Aires. And it's a journey. Um, it's like a road movie in a city. Um, within a, a, a city. So uh, I hope I, I can shoot it this year. But the situation here in Argentina now, it's complicated in terms of um, of the government we have. And, 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 and two days ago, they announced the, the cut of every public money from film and from culture. So I don't know if I... I, I I'll I'll be able to to make it uh, uh, this year, but I'm here and and I want to make I will make films a, anyway. I mean, well, fingers crossed for that next project. Well, thank you so much for sharing all that with me, and really can't thank wait for you so one. much. Thank you so thank much. Delinquents, thanks a lot. Muchas gracias.